Welcome, and thank you for watching the NBC one-to-one -one rollout video. The goals of our presentation are to explain why NBC has chosen this endeavor and then how we will implement it. Uh, two is to prepare the students for the activities that we're going to use to get them ready to use their Chrome or MacBook throughout the year. What we would like of parents and students while they're using the one-to-one -one device. And finally, to be able to send the MacBook Chromebook home so students and parents can start familiarizing themselves with the technology that's provided for them. So you may be asking yourself, what is one-to-one? -one? Well, North Bend Central will provide students with either a Chromebook or a MacBook computer for the use at school and at home. The one-to-one -one laptop program provides this mobile computing device and the wireless technology here at school for all students here at NBC. The goal is, is that it will enhance the delivery of education and help individualize instruction for each student. The world is changing. Technology is part of our day-to-day -day life. Whether we go to McDonald's and order a meal or we go to the doctor's office, technology is at the forefront of how we live. So a mission here at North Bend Central is to prepare our students for the future. And to do that, we feel technology needs to be embedded in the classrooms. And research has shown that one-to-one -one computing increases student success. So that's another reason NBC has went to the one-to-one -one initiative. During the 2017-2018 school year, our middle school students here piloted a one-to-one -one program using Chromebooks. So during their ice cream social, they came in, they checked out Chromebooks, took them home, and then brought them back to school each and every day. The program worked very, very well. Our high school students, grade eight through 12, shared labs, mobile labs that they would check out, their teachers would check out through the library every period and then return at the end of the period if another class needed them. So between all the high school, we had roughly about five to six labs, if you count the library lab, that students could use. Obviously this created difficulties because teachers want to bring technology in the classroom and it wasn't always available. So the one-to-one -one program will help provide students and teachers with the technology they need. Um, In-service time was devoted last year to technology training for our staff. Some of the items that they were trained on were Canvas. Canvas is our learning management system. Uh, if you're familiar with the university system, they've used Blackboard in the past. Sakai is what Wayne State uses, or the old, old system, uh, Angel. Um, but that is a way our teachers will put information of the class online and students can access it. So if you go to Canvas, you'll see all of the students' classes and then all of their information. Uh, Canvas will take a while to develop. Um, so this year, what we're asking our teachers is just to put due dates on Canvas. So if you go to the student's home Canvas page, you will see when assignments are due. It doesn't mean necessarily the assignment is there online. It could be a math assignment. Um, you need to do problems one through five due on Friday. Now that one through five might be a paper assignment, but you'll be able to see the due dates of all assignments. So that's kind of what our pilot program looked like and what we're heading for this year. Student expectations. What we hope from the students each and every day. The first one is to make sure they take their device home and charge it overnight. We don't have charging for all 350 students, so we need to make sure that they come to school with their device charged. Know where their device is at all times and keep it safe. So don't take your device and leave it in an unlocked car or leave it laying in the hallway. Make sure you know where your device is at all times. Ask for assistance when needed. If you have a problem with your machine, make sure you ask somebody in the technology department. We don't want little problems to become big problems because we don't take care of them right away. Understand Canvas. Infinite Campus, and Google Suites. These are all items that teachers will be using throughout the school year. And don't be afraid to try new things. That's the fun of technology, to so try new things and how, see how they work to make our educational process better. Like I said earlier, we will be doing some training for students for the one-to-one -one program to just get them used to their machine and the expectations that we have of it. So the training stations that they will be going through is the first one is machine care, charging, storage, ethics of their machine. The next one is just the programs that we would want them to use. Infinite Campus, Google Suites, Canvas, along with some other ones that might be helpful for them. Um, setup of Canvas, how to set up your notifications, how you can see your grading, um, when things have been graded. 
and then just best practices for students in Canvas, how they can utilize it best. During the first week of school, we will train students on our expectation of the devices, how to use Canvas, Infinite Campus, and the Google Suites, and just basic understanding of their machine. So the following is just a matrix of our plan of how to get everybody trained on Thursday and Friday of the first week. Things for both the students and parents to know. The laptops are not the student's personal property. The laptop belongs to North Bend Central Public Schools and it's just loaned to the students throughout the school year. So we encourage parents to check out the content of the machines at any time, whether it be while the student is working on a homework assignment in Canvas or if they're just looking at a YouTube video. We encourage parents to take a look and see what students are, are doing on their laptop machines. The school staff throughout the school day will be monitoring the students on their laptops using a couple different programs. One is GoGuardian, the other one is Dino. These programs are what they consider a lockdown browser. So as a teacher is presenting material, they'll go to these programs and lock the screen so students cannot manipulate away from them. So the screen will be stagnant and show the students what the teacher intends them to see. Students will also be filtered through the school filtering system. And this filter will also work at home. So whether they're at school or at home, hopefully we can minimize the content that we don't want them to see. So what are we asking of parents? Number one is the same as what we're asking for students. It's just make sure the kiddos have their device charged each and every night so they come to school fully uh, charged and 100% ready to go. Uh, number two, have a conversation about expectations in the home. We're providing the device uh, each and every night for students to take home. What as a parent would you like to see? Uh, are you gonna allow your student to take it to their to their bedroom and work on homework, or maybe they have to sit at the kitchen table and work on homework. Uh, when they're done with their work, um, are they allowed to have free screen time? And, and if so, how long? Um, just have those conversations with your kiddos um, to help prepare you and your home for the one-to-one -one initiative. Uh, the third one is feel free to check your students' assignments on Canvas and their grades on Infinite Campus. Uh, and number four, for them to take the machines home, we need you to provide the necessary documentation and coverage protection for students to take the machine uh, home each and every night. Okay, the paperwork required to take the machines home. The first is the acceptable use policy, and that's just an agreement of how you will use the machine and how you would take care of the machine. The insurance agreement, which we'll talk about next, gives you options of how you will make sure that the machine will be taken care of financially if something would happen to break. The computer loan agreement is just an agreement saying that this is the school's property that we are allowing you to take out of the building. And then the waiver of understanding for the Karen Hazy presentation and the one-to-one -one rollout video, which you are watching now. You have three options when it comes to the one-to-one -one initiative. The first option would be to join the North Bend Central Schools Damage Cooperative. And what this is, is like taking out a small insurance policy through the school if for some reason your student would happen to, to break their machine. The cost of it was $25 for the Chromebook, which is grades six through nine, and $40 for the MacBook, which will be going to grades 10 through 12. This fee is valid for one school year, and it does not cover willful acts. It only covers accidental. So if a student gets mad and takes their machine and throws it on the floor, we won't cover that. But if for some reason they're working, their Chromebook gets bumped off the desk and the screen breaks, that is covered under our policy. The coverage would be 100% for the first incident and 75 for the second incident. Three or more is the sole responsibility of the student and parent. And it also is a 24 seven coverage. So whether it happens here at school or at home, under the damage cooperative, your student would be covered. The second option is self-coverage. If a parent chooses to self-insure, they just need to provide the school with a copy of their homeowner's policy. This would need to take place prior to the student taking the machine home. Should damage occur, an invoice would be provided by the NBC technology staff. Once the invoice is received by the parent, it's up to them how they handle it, whether they turn it over to their homeowner policy, which with high deductibles, that might be highly unlikely, or just pay out of pocket. You're self-covering, so it's up to the parent how they wanna handle that situation. The invoice would need to be paid prior to the student receiving their Chromebook or MacBook back. 
the school will do everything they can to provide the student with a loaner machine until the original machine is fixed and back into the student's hands. The third option is if you don't want to participate in the program. Maybe as a parent you feel that you don't want your student to have a laptop coming home every night. Or maybe your student has a home machine that you feel more comfortable that, for them using. That's fine. The school will still provide your student a machine during the school day. They will come in the morning and check it out in the media center. And then every day after school, check it back in. Our media center specialists will make sure it's charged for them when they come the next day. Uh, the machine may not go home for any reason, but students will have to work with the teachers to get those online assignments completed. Um, NBC may have some older machines that they would check out like a library book for overnight use if needed um, throughout the school year. So what are the next steps? The first would be is to go to the NBC website for the paperwork needed. The acceptable use policy, loan agreement, insurance option, and waiver of understanding will all be in one document posted on the website. Please fill those documents out and come to your rollout night. For sixth and seventh graders, that'll be during the ice cream social, August 9th. Eighth through 12th graders will be August 14th from five to eight. Also during that time, the KBS Law presentation will take place at 6 p.m. if you choose to come to see it in person, or it'll be posted on the website after the presentation on August 14th. Once the paperwork is completed, students may take their machines home. If you have questions or concerns about our one-to-one -one process, please feel free to contact me here at school, either by phone, 402-652-3268, or email me at bpeterson at mbtigers.org. I'm very excited about our first year of one-to-one -one and excited to see what the future holds. Have a great day and thank you.